to the area school. The most useful animals to humankind. Hello friends! I decided to tell you about the most useful animals to humankind. Cow! Cows are really the most useful animals to humans. They provide milk. Milk can be used to make dairy products like ghee, cream, butter, yogurt, cheese, etc. Chicken! It is one of the most common domestic animals. They will help you to keep active and lower your blood pressure. They are also one of the most emotionally intelligent creatures. Also, you do not have to buy another eggs from the market. It will take approximately 18 to 24 hours for a chicken to produce an egg. They have very tasty meat. Chicken feathers also have a variety of uses. Horse! Humans have been using horses for centuries for different purposes. During the early days, they were a food source. However, later they are being used as a mode of transportation. They also help humans by pulling heavy loads on them and carrying wagons. Horses are also very helpful in farm work, plowing, pleasure riding, races and companionships. It is also one of the friendliest animals in the world. Dog Dogs also help humans in getting out of deep depressions with the help of their companionship. As per reports from American Heart Association, dogs help us in lowering our blood sugar, which has again multiple health benefits. Dogs can also detect cancer. They guard the people and their homes. Sheep Humans use ships wool widely in clothing, right from socks and jumpers to suits and costumes. Sheep skin is also used to make soft leather. Also, some of the famous cheeses around the world are made from sheep's milk. Sheep have also used in science and medicine. That's all for today. Don't forget to like this episode. Geometric shapes and right now, we are going to learn geometric shapes that will be useful for you in future. And here they are. Cube Hexagonal prism Torus And this shape called sphere. The next one is tube. Triangle prism. Square based pyramid. Square And guess this shape It's cone Hemisphere And the last one is octahedron if you like this episode, let us know in comments down below. The most wonderful lakes. Hello kids, how are you today? Let's find out some interesting facts about the most wonderful lakes. Lakes are large bodies of water that are surrounded by land and are not part of an ocean. Lakes are relatively still bodies of water when compared to a river where the water flows. They can contain either salt or fresh water and are larger than ponds. Below are descriptions of some of the largest and more important lakes in the world. Caspian Sea The Caspian Sea is the largest lake by surface area in the world. It is so large that it is sometimes classified as a minor ocean or as a world's only sea that doesn't connect to an ocean. 
There are five different countries that have coastline on the Caspian Sea, including Russia, Iran, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, and Turkmenistan. Over 130 rivers flow into the Caspian Sea, with the largest being the Volga River. The Great Lakes The Great Lakes are located in North America on the border between Canada and the United States. They include five lakes – Michigan, Huron, Erie, Ontario, and Superior. Together, they make up the largest freshwater lakes on Earth. 21% of the world's surface fresh water is held by the Great Lakes. Many great cities have been built up on the coast of the Great Lakes, including Chicago, the largest, Toronto and Detroit. Lake Baikal Lake Baikal, at 5,314 feet deep, is the deepest lake in the world. It's located in southern Russia. It's also the world's largest lake by volume and the second longest lake in the world. Lake Tanganyika Lake Tanganyika is the longest lake in the world at 410 miles long. It's also the second deepest and the second largest in volume. Lake Tanganyika is located in Africa and has coastline in four countries, including Tanzania, Zambia, Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Burundi. Lake Titicaca Lake Titicaca sits 12,500 feet above sea level in the Andes Mountains between Peru and Bolivia. It is the largest lake in South America and also is the highest navigable lake in the world. Lake Victoria Lake Victoria is the largest lake by surface area in Africa. The first European to discover the lake was British explorer John Speak, who named the lake after Queen Victoria. Three countries share Lake Victoria including Tanzania, Kenya and Uganda. Also, I want to share with you not only interesting, but fun facts about lakes. The Dead Sea in Israel is the world's lowest lake at 1,371 feet below sea level. The highest lake in the world is Ojos del Salado at 20,965 feet high. A subglacial lake is the lake that is permanently covered by ice. The largest of these is Lake Vostok in Antarctica. Lakes can form in interesting different ways, such as in the craters of volcanoes, by sinkholes in the ground, or even artificially by dams made by man. There are over 187,000 lakes in Finland, giving the country the nickname the Land of the Thousand Lakes. Thanks for being with me, stay tuned! The best solar system facts Hi kids! Let's talk about solar system facts. Our solar system consists of eight planets which all orbit around our home star, the Sun. The solar system was formed a crazy 4 and 6 billion years ago. It consists of eight planets which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Mercury. The closest planet to the Sun is only about as wide as the Atlantic Ocean. 18 Mercuries would fit into the Earth. The planet does not have an atmosphere, just like it is on all other planets. This is also the fastest planet. It speeds with pace with 31 miles per second. Venus Venus named after the Roman goddess of beauty. Yellow clouds made of sulfur and sulfuric acid cover the entire planet causing light to reflect off the surface. This makes Venus the second brightest object in the sky after the moon. The surface of Venus hosts thousands of volcanoes, craters, super high mountain ranges. Earth Earth is the fifth largest planet of our solar system and has one large natural satellite, the moon. All 
planets were named after Roman and Greek gods and goddesses except the Earth. The name nevertheless is more than 1000 years old and mean just ground. Everything one ever known is here, the only place where life is known to currently exist. About 70% of the Earth's surface is water covered. Mars Mars, the most likely candidate for a future human habitat, has huge storms that occur every now and then and cover the entire planet. Mars is very cold and dry, but water exists in form of ice at the north and south poles. The surface of Mars has many craters, deep valleys and volcanoes. Mars has two moons called Phobos and Deimos. Both are probably asteroids which were caught up by Mars' gravitational field. Jupiter Jupiter is the largest planet in solar system. The most famous feature on the surface of the planet is the Great Red Spot, which is actually a storm that has been blowing for about 350 years, if not longer. Saturn Saturn is a gas giant just like Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus. This means that it doesn't really have a proper solid surface, as it is mainly made up of gases with a small rocky core. Saturn is the second largest planet and is known for its rings. Although the other gas giants also have this kind of rings, only Saturn's rings can be seen the clearest. Uranus Uranus is the second furthest planet from the Sun and therefore also has to travel a pretty long time to go once around our home star. It takes Uranus roughly 48 years to orbit once around the Sun. Uranus is a blue planet not because of water, but because of gases that make it appear blue. Uranus orbits on its side, which means that its seasons are completely different to ours. Summer and winter each take 21 years at the North and South Poles. Neptune Neptune is closely related to Uranus. The atmosphere is composed of almost the same gases and just like Uranus, Neptune also appears blue. Neptune inherits its name from the Roman god of the sea as reference to its deep blue color. Neptune is the furthest planet from the Sun and it takes 165 years for Neptune to go once around the Sun. It was me, Aria, with you today. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it. The main parts of human body Hi kids! It's Aria with you today. It's nice to see you again. Today we will talk about the main parts of human body. To survive and reproduce, the human body relies on major internal body organs to perform certain vital functions. When two or more organs along with their associated structures work together, they become competent parts of a body system. Some of the easily recognizable internal organs and their associated functions are The brain The brain is a control center of the nervous system and is located within the skull. Its functions include muscle control and coordination, sensory reception and integration, speech production, memory storage and the elaboration of thoughts and emotions. The lungs The lungs are two sponge-like, cone-shaped structures that fill most of the chest cavity. Their essential function is to provide oxygen from inhaled air to the bloodstream and to exhale carbon dioxide. The liver. The liver lies on the right side of the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Its main function is to process the contents of the blood to ensure composition remains the same. This process involves breaking down fats, producing urea, filtering harmful substances and maintaining a proper level of glucose in the blood. The bladder. The bladder is a muscular organ located in the pelvic cavity. It stretches to store urine and contracts to release urine. The kidneys The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located at the back of the abdominal cavity, one on the each side of the spinal column. 
Their function is to maintain the body's chemical balance by exerting waste products and excess fluid in the form of urine. The heart. The heart is a hollow, muscular organ that pumps blood through the blood vessels by repeated rhythmic contractions. The stomach. The stomach is a muscular, elastic pear-shaped bag lying crosswise in the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Its main purpose is digestion of food through production of gastric juices which break down, mix and turn the food into the thin liquid. The intestines. The intestines are located between the stomach and the anus and are divided into two major sections, the small intestine and the large intestine. The function of the small intestine is to absorb most ingested food. The large intestine is responsible for absorption of water and excretion of solid waste material. Thank you for watching! If you found our episode useful, let us know in comments down below. The top 5 highest mountains in the world Hi kids! Let's find out new things about mountains. A mountain is a geological landform that rises above the surrounding land. Mountain climbing is an extremely popular pastime. Mountains make the world more beautiful and interesting. I'm going to tell you the top 5 highest mountains in the world. Mount Everest Everest is situated on the border between Nepal and autonomous region of Tibet. Everest is the world's highest mountain. Its peak is an eye-watering 8,848 meters above sea level, making it well over 8 times taller than the highest mountain in Wales. Everest is a part of seven summits. The seven summit is a list made up of the highest mountain on each of the world's seven continents. Climbing all seven of the seven summits is one of the ultimate achievements in the sport of mountaineering. K2 K2, also known officially as Mount Goodwin Austin, has a summit 8611 meters above sea level. And it has the second highest rate of any mountain with a height over 8000 meters. It is located on the border between China and Pakistan. The Chinese side of the mountain is widely considered to be the more difficult and hazardous side, so the summit is usually attempted from the Pakistan side. Kanchenjunga Kanchenjunga is the third highest mountain in the world. It sits on the border between Nepal and India and has an elevation of 8,586 meters. There is tradition when ascending Kanchenjunga to stop just short of the summit. This dates back to the first successful climb of the mountain. Every climber since then has followed the respectful example set by the first ascent. Lhotse Lhotse Elevation 8516 meters is the fourth highest mountain in the world. It neighbors Mount Everest and forms part of the Everest Massif. The summit of Lhotse is on the border between the Kubu region of Nepal and Tibet. This mountain is widely considered to be the most difficult climb over 8000 meters in the world. Makalu with an elevation of 8,485 meters, Makala is officially the fifth highest mountain in the world. Situated 19 kilometers southeast of Everest, on the border between Nepal and China, Makala is notable for its summit icon pyramid shape. This mountain has an isolated position, which leaves it exposed to the elements, and numerous knife-edge ridges and pan filling steep sections. The latter stages of the accent, in particular, involve some extremely technical rock and ice climbing. Thank you for watching! If you found our episode useful, let us know in comments down below! The top 5 longest rivers in the world Hi kids! My name is Arya. And today we will talk about the top 5 longest rivers in the world. 
the long and windy flow of the river is an important part of development for any country or culture. Being used for transportation, agriculture or serving a tourist attraction, providing a visual feast one won't forget. Each and every river is crucial for the area it runs through. But where are the longest and greatest rivers located? Check out our list below to get the answer to that question. Nile River This major river in northeastern Africa is known as the longest river in the world. Stretching over 6,695 kilometers, the Nile is flowing through 11 countries. Sudan, South Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo Kinshasa, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Uganda, and Egypt. Amazon River This is the largest river in South America and is used for transportation and agriculture purposes. As the second longest river in the world, the Amazon River is 6,400 km long and at some points reaches the width over 6 miles. Yangtze River The longest river in Asia flows for 6,300 km from Qinghai Tibet Plateau in western China to the East China Sea at Shanghai. The Yangtze River is known in China as the Changjiang and is the longest in the world to flow entirely within one country. Mississippi River Mississippi River is the largest river system in North America, flowing entirely through the United States, from Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. It is 3,730 km long, being ranked as 4th longest and 10th largest river in the world. Yenisei River Being 3,000 442 km long, the Yenisei River is fifth of our list, racing in Mongolia and flowing into the Arctic Ocean. This river is subject to very wide seasonal temperature variations from over 30 Celsius degree in the summer to minus 30 in the winter time. It was me, Aria, with you today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episodes. The top 10 fastest animals on earth. Hi kids! Today we will talk about the 10 fastest animals on earth. How fast can you run? Research suggests that human beings could run as fast as 40 miles an hour. You may be thinking that's not too shabby, but as you will see, many animals can go much faster than we can, some of them predatory. What is the fastest animals on earth? Let's find out! Peregrine Falcon Birds have something of an advantage when it comes to speed, for obvious reason. The Peregrine Falcon is especially swift, capable of reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, while at a dive, making it a fearsome hunter. The rest of the time, it does not fly this fast, but that hardly matters to its prey. It is the fastest animals on planet when in dive. Frigate bird This spectacular avian makes the peregrine falcon look slow by comparison. It can reach speeds of up to 95 miles per hour, much faster than adults drive on a highway. It has the largest wingspan to body weight ratio and can stay in the air for intensely long periods. Sometimes these birds do not touch down for over a week at a time. Sailfish What is the fastest sea animal? That honor goes to the sailfish, which can reach speeds up to 68 miles per hour. Again, possibly faster than adults used to driving on a highway. Can you imagine a fish racing alongside your vehicle and keeping up with you? That's one fast sea animal. The characteristic sail is used when the fish is frightened in order to intimidate threatening animals. The rest of the time, it is kept folded up. Cheetah The fastest animals in the world 
is of course cheetah. This animal is actually only slightly faster than a prohorn antelope and can reach speeds of up to 61 miles per hour. This record was set by an 11-year-old cheetah in 2012 named Sarah. Cheetah can ramp up their speed four times faster than human beings can. Unlike most of other animals on this list, the cheetah is a predator. It represents a serious threat to animals on this list that inhabit the same geographic areas. Pronghorn Antelope This antelope takes second place among land animals for speed. It can easily outsprint most predators at speeds as high as 60 miles per hour. Actual antelopes are quite fast as well, but not as fast as the pronghorn. Also curious is the fact that the pronghorn is faster than predators which inhabit North America. The pronghorn has a number of special adaptations that allow it to function at high speeds, including cushioned, pointed toes to absorb shock and extra-large organ that assist with air intake. Blue Wildebeest Another swift land animal which also inhabits the plains is the blue wildebeest. They are not quite as fast as the pronghorn, but are still pretty impressive at around 50 miles per hour. Lion Unfortunately for the blue wildebeest, the lion's fastest speed almost exactly matches. Lions can chase down their prey at around 50 miles per hour, making them extremely deadly predators on the plains. Thompson's gazelle This is another creature in the same category as wildebeest and lions, also capable of running at around 50 miles per hour. Chases between lions, the cheetah and gazelle can be quite intense as a result of the close speed matching. Unfortunately for Thompson's gazelles, they are the preferred prey of cheetahs, the fastest animal on our list. Brown hair One of the smallest animals on our list is the brown hare. This little creature can run extremely fast, reaching speeds of up to 47 miles per hour. The story of the tortoise and the hare is famous for a reason. Hares really are incredibly fast creatures, and they are capable of outrunning the majority of other animals. Elk There are a number of animals which run faster than the elk, but the elk deserves a mention because it is a good deal larger and less swift looking than a gazelle or antelope. Elks can be quite large, but their size and build should not deceive you. The elk is capable of running at speeds as high as 45 miles per hour. If it charges you, it's going to win. As you can see, there are some impressively fast animals on the land, as well as in the sea and the air. These remarkable animals showcase the many different ways that creatures can adapt to fulfill the role of either predator or herbivore. While we may be at the top of the food chain thanks to our tools and inventions, we are easily outclassed when it comes to speed. It was me, Aria, with you today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episodes.